According to insiders privy to early details, this new iteration of Sony's wildly successful PlayStation 5 console promises to be a game-changer in terms of performance and capabilities. Let's delve into what we know so far about this exciting development. It shows Trinity is the codename for the PlayStation 5 Pro that has been leaked many times in the past before, and it says that the raw rendering performance is 45% faster than the base PS5, although ray tracing is described as being two to four times faster, which if it does pan out is nuts. And it cannot just be from using RDNA 3, as RDNA 3 enhancements that AMD has claimed have always been around 1.5 to 1.8x better than RDNA 2, and this is much higher than that, which on the surface, this means that the PlayStation 5 Pro could theoretically run some sections twice as fast as the PS5 if the bottleneck for performance in that scene was ray tracing. And frankly, I think this has massive implications for how much better RDNA 4 or at least RDNA 5 might be at ray tracing than RDNA 2 and 3. But anyways, in this same document, there's also confirmation of a powerful custom machine learning architecture capable of 300 tops of 8-bit computation that will be used for PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR for short. And if we go to the second page, we see mention of that 300 tops number again. It also confirms 67 teraflops, baby. Now, I do have to be clear that this is 67 teraflops of FP16. The teraflops number that Xbox fanboys wouldn't shut up about was 12 teraflops of FP32. So cut this in half to get to 33.5 teraflops, almost certainly, but even that, even that is 2.8 times the teraflops of the Xbox Series X. And it's going to be very interesting to see if Sony markets that heavily for revenge. But moving on, I also find it interesting that right now they plan to apparently use PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution for 4K and eventually 8K. Now, eventually doesn't support it right away. What this tells you is that this technology, PSSR, is not something that Sony sees as something that will be one and done, like checkerboarding, and then they just let it go. This is something they're clearly going to iterate on update and they have future roadmaps for how they're going to improve it for the PlayStation 5 Pro and then assumedly future other PlayStation products as well, making this something that may become a unique selling point for PlayStation gaming devices, just like Nvidia has been marketing DLSS and new versions of DLSS for multiple generations as well. Now. Also, if you look on this document here, it says it supports dynamic input resolutions, which is very exciting in my opinion, because that means Sony can patch a game with dynamic res, which many current gen console games use dynamic resolution, and then they can just enhance the output resolution as it goes up and down, meaning that if frame rates are going to drop, you can still adjust down the base resolution, but still upscale a better output resolution than what the base PS5 can do right now. And hey, no per game training is needed, unlike what DLSS used to require, but it will eat up a bit of Sony's VRAM budget. So that's going to be interesting to see how devs account for a little bit of that 16 gigabytes needing to be used for this. Faster rendering speeds. One of the most significant claims surrounding the PS5 Pro is its impressive rendering speed. Insiders suggest that the new console will be capable of rendering graphics up to 45% faster than the standard PS5 model. This boost in performance could lead to smoother gameplay, reduced loading times, and enhanced overall gaming experiences. Custom Architecture and Machine Learning The PS5 Pro is rumored to feature a custom architecture optimized for gaming and machine learning tasks. This specialized design aims to maximize efficiency and performance, allowing for more complex game environments, realistic graphics, and advanced AI capabilities within games. 300 tops and 33.2 teraflops. Technical specifications leaked about the PS5 Pro indicate a significant leap in processing power, with a reported performance capability of 300 tops, trillion operations per second, and 33.2 teraflops. This console is poised to deliver stunning visuals and seamless gameplay for even the most demanding titles. PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution One of the most intriguing features rumored for the PS5 Pro is the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution technology. While details remain scarce, 
this technology is expected to enhance image quality, increase resolution, and improve overall visual fidelity, providing players with a more immersive gaming experience. AI Chip Integration Another groundbreaking aspect of the PS5 Pro is its integration of an AI chip. This specialized hardware is designed to work in tandem with the console's software, leveraging machine learning algorithms to optimize performance, enhance graphics, and even assist in gameplay mechanics, potentially revolutionizing how games are experienced on the platform. Anticipated Impact on Gaming If the rumors hold true, the PS5 Pro could set a new standard for console gaming performance and innovation. Players can expect jaw-dropping visuals, smoother gameplay, reduced loading times, and enhanced AI interactions, all contributing to a more immersive and engaging gaming experience. While Sony has not officially confirmed the existence of the PS5 Pro or its specifications, the buzz surrounding this rumored console is undeniable. If the reported features and capabilities come to fruition, the PS5 Pro could mark a significant leap forward in the evolution of gaming consoles, solidifying Sony's position as a leader in the industry and delighting gamers worldwide with unparalleled gaming experiences. As always with rumors, it's important to take this information with a grain of salt until official announcements are made. Nonetheless, the prospect of a PS5 Pro is undoubtedly exciting for gaming enthusiasts eagerly awaiting the next big leap in console gaming technology. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.